Remembering a Country Music Hall of Fame member, Grand Ole Opry member, and beloved performer. Mel Tillis was known for his stutter when he spoke, but he released more than 60 albums and had 35 songs into the top 10 on the charts. News Channel 5's Jesse Knudsen spoke with Bobby Bear, one of Tillis's good friends today. Last night I went to sleep in Detroit City. The song Detroit City was Bobby Bear's first and top 10 hit and helped launch his career. And while it was his voice on the track, they were Mel Tillis's words. If Mel hadn't written Detroit City, I seriously doubt if uh, I'd had a career. Play music back in Tennessee. Bear met Tillis upon moving to Nashville in the 1960s, and he says back then he was talented and kind, attributes that stuck with him for the rest of his life. I've been very lucky to be friends with so many great people, and Mel is one of the greatest. <laughs> uh, this was in the, in the early 60s. The two worked together from then on, even recording an album together along with Waylon Jennings and Jerry Reed under the group name Old Dogs. And that's a crazy bunch to have in the studio. Jerry Reed said it's the most fun he ever had with his clothes on. That's right, Mr. Mel Tilly. But it's Tillis's life outside of music that left a mark on Bear and so many others. You see, I. I stutter. Living with a speech impediment, Tillis chose to live his life filled with joy rather than embarrassment. He never really overcame it. He just learned to live with it. By the time I said all aboard, I should have been saying end of the line. You got yourself a job. He would even put his stuttering front and center to entertain others. Beyond entertaining, Bear says Tillis and him would go fishing often. And even if they never had a bite on the line, they'd always catch a laugh. Everybody liked to hang out with Mel because you're guaranteed a good laugh. He had a sense of humor that was unbelievable. Now Bobby Bear said one of the last times that he visited Mel Tillis down in Florida at his home, he was shown a bunch of artwork that Mel had done. And Bobby Bear said maybe in the next hundred years he'll be just as famous for his artwork as he is for his music now. Live in the newsroom, Jessica Knudsen, News Channel 5.